I assure you this is Ravenfield, but it's not like you've ever seen it before. Huh? This is truly changing the game at its very core, and today it's basically a racing roguelite, but it's racing in that you can die. <laughs> this is death race. Okay, this this is this is what we're gonna. That's it's a race of death. Basically, looking at this Windows 95 looking laptop is this is like one of those old Toshiba bricks. Anyway, we can choose our vehicle and upgrade it. We can choose the type of race. We're gonna tr start with the hardest one. Just to show you what failure looks like. Drive to the starting gate. Then we hop on our old motorcycle. This is like if you were to see like a death race in like the Fallout dystopian universe. Okie dokie. That's right. Something like that. Or or Mad Max. Get ready. Oh god. That means Oh, look at those vehicles! I get money for progress and they're already shooting at me. So I wanna show you what the hardest race is like. That's death race. Hello boys. And if I can just get to this checkpoint, I'm gonna make some serious money. Is that an attack helicopter in the background? Okay, so making it through this gate gets me money. These guys have guns! I was expecting them to try to run into me or hit me with some spiky baseball bats or something, but no. So I just made five dollars. And I'm on the most vulnerable of vehicles, which is, I guess, at you know, you could technically call it an open chassis motorcycle. This is my life right now. This is a race. And it is death. <laughs> it is death race. And I'm having a fantastic time failing. I mean, technically I got through two gates, so like I'm putting that on my LinkedIn resume right now. When I'm applying for jobs, it's like a chef of a five-star restaurant with zero experience. But they're like, well, that guy played Ravenfield, so he's right for the job. Hey, I'm at three health. We're about to die. Our first race, if I could get to that other gate before they shoot me, I would be so happy. Oh! In any roguelite, death, oh, the helicopter crashed, is part of the experience. So what we're gonna do is view the motorbike class and go to upgrades here. And I wanna upgrade my vehicle with a uh, gunner, but I, I can't afford it. I'm at 15, you sons of biscuits, if I would've made that gate. And these are the vehicles, a motorcycle, a four-wheeler, and a, and a very Soviet-looking car. Well, I guess we just gotta go to a race. And we'll do a light pursuit. If I complete it, $150, that's gonna be good enough for a gunner, which is gonna be hilarious to see a gunner on the back of this motorcycle. Now remember, you got to appreciate what a roguelite game is, which is a game that you struggle at the beginning, and failure is really just a learning lesson. So there's guys on motorcycles, there's only two of them in pursuit right now. Now we need to drive for your life. I could just imagine this in Sofa's voice, and he's the, what? That was a fantastic, jeez, these guys are faster than me. Okay, they just blew up and my motorcycle's at zero health. Uh-huh. Wait a minute. <laughs> this is incredible. Now, I was honestly expecting to win that. Are there still guys hanging out there? Well, I mean, this is what happens when you make a destruction derby. Look at this, this is how you power up. Yeah! Ooh. How are they so fast? Okay, what I have to do is dodge him or he's gonna blow up my thing. All right, literally just one more gate and I got a gunner next game. Okay, I don't know what just exploded over there, but something did and it's hilarious. We're at $20 if I could just complete this thing. 93 health, 92, woo hoo hoo! One thing I haven't checked to see is if, like, you actually drive faster on the road path, or you can- Wait, that sounds like a very big vehicle. <laughs> or can we go on the sand and be just as fast? I gotta be very unpredictable, though, and do- <laughs> And do wild movements, and these things are gonna eat my face for lunch. Which is kind of weird, like, who would eat a face for lunch? Maybe a crocodile? Oh my god! I love the little horns. Now, in theory, oh yes, if they run into each other, they explode. So I'm glad we caught that the four-wheeler just ran right into one of the motorcycles. Now, I think the only thing that I would change uh, if this was ever made into like an actual game, which maybe it should be. Oh yes, explosions is uh, like if we had a progress bar, like the little race progress bar, uh, that's what I need. 
Because I don't know how close I am. That would increase the excitement. What's up? Oh my god. This is like... This is wild that this is in Ravenfield. Just thank your lucky stars that the modding community in this game is absolutely 10 out of 10. I think at this point we've ditched most of our pursuers. There's two motorcycles back there. Never mind. That's a machine gun truck. Oh boy. If this video was in theory to go viral, I think that we would start on game development for this as a concept. <laughs> Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, there's a four-wheeler upside down. The guy's like, don't worry, dude. I can still fire my gun with my head in the sand. Oh, lordy. We're coming into the final gate here. And as long as I make it through that and don't die, which looks like is going to happen. So Shazam! I survived the lap. And now they don't shoot at me anymore. Now I can laugh at them. Ha, 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 ha. Suckers. What happens if I... <laughs> Oh my god, they're wait a minute, you can't do that! That's against the Geneva suggestions. Oh, what? You- I'm trying to do my job! Alright, this is- this is just next level trolling. Yeah, get it- get out of here. Oh, okay. I have $360 now. Alright, I'm gonna buy the four-wheeler. We're gonna upgrade- Whoa, a front machine gun? Oh, snap. I feel like I'm Australian Special Forces right now. <laughs> this is awesome. So, I think that hiring the gunner is broken, and I just talked with uh, the man, the myth, the legend, Sofa here. Uh, for the, I'm going to hit the debugger, and then we're going to do this. Hey, I hired a gunner, and let's just go ahead and... Upgrade his gun. I love how like there's a just a there's a dead dude on my laptop. It's like, bro, dude, I'm trying to work here. This is like worse than a cat. Cause like now I have to explain this to the police. <laughs> anyway, let's pick our next race. So I'm thinking a mid-level pursuit. Yeah, look at this! Oh my gosh, we we're, we're ready for this. Now what'd be kind of funny is if if this motorcycle like causes someone to pursue me and then blow up or hit it. That'd be so cool. Please. Three, two, one, go! Drive for your life! Oh, hit it! Oh, he dodged it. Oh, uh, this is... Oh, I like how my gunner's just in the back like, this is kind of fun, Baron. Dude, shoot at them! Now, if there was a little bit of an aiming reticle, oh, I think the machine gun on the front would do better. Woo! Hit that jump. Look at how many more. Okay, so the type of difficulty. This is incredible. This is cinematic. Michael Bay wants to play this game. Oh, I hope that truck lands on the other one. Oh, he jumped over it. My gunner's still like, you know, dude, shooting is really more of a... It, they're more like guidelines as opposed to what I should be doing right now. I The first thing I'm doing when I'm getting home is like... Ditching this gunner. I don't think I can do that, but it'd be kind of funny. <laughs> okay, some of the cars hit each other. It looked like one completely got upturned. Those little cars, which is actually the third vehicle that I'm gonna be able to upgrade, are like really causing an issue right now because they're so fast. Okay, so we got ourselves like a nice Toyota truck. Boom! Yes, and there's an explosion in the background. This is awesome! Oh! Oh my gosh! You're like, man, I suck. Oh! He ran into us, took out a decent amount of health, and I thought I lost my gunner, but it was actually the enemy gunner. Oh! Jeez! That was incredible! That's a three-car pileup! That guy hit the other one head-on, applying directly to the forehead. Ooh, shoot! If my gunner could gun, that would be real nice. Oh, this is getting hairy. Come on. Yes. That guy basically did ourselves a favor by running into the other one and, and just T-boning them out. Look at this, a three-car pileup. We made it with 34% of our health. Luckily, the enemy is not using any rocket artillery or anything. Okay, so once the it's over, 
the enemy, I guess, is supposed to blow up, and last time they just didn't, which is kind of funny. So, now, I should be able to pick up my motorcycle and pull it over. Because we've got two out of the three vehicles. <laughs> this is not how you motorcycle. Uh, if you hit five, you eliminate yourself. <laughs> so, don't, like, don't do this. <laughs> I was trying to pull out the C4, and I pressed the wrong number key. Because what I really want to do is... Yeah, we destroyed our motorcycle. I wanted to respawn, but I wanted to show you what upgrades you could do for the motorcycle before we buy the last one. So since we've got these two, I'm gonna go to the Victor 400 and you can buy armor plating and an engine upgrade. And there's even paint jobs. So let's do nice. I don't want pink, I want camo. So let's upgrade our ATV. Oh my gosh, look, it changes it in real time. It's amazing, look at that. Okay, now what are the upgrades we have available for the final vehicle? Cause we've done a small race, we've done a medium race, and we've got one more left to show that we're the greatest in the land. Lady Reika, buy now for 400 bucks. Let's upgrade Lady Reika with some armor plating. Can't afford that, debug, debug. Give me free money button. It actually, <laughs> this is worthy of Mad Max. And we'll upgrade, I guess we can't afford any more upgrades on the guns. Uh, never mind. We maxed it out. So now we are in the pursuit, the heavy class. If we complete the race, we get 500. Okay. Now, this is what my viewpoint would look like. It, it's, it's really bad in first person. So we're just gonna drive third person. And you should join us. Looks like I'm on my own, though to be fair, there's no real windows to shoot out from. This is a bad idea. Okay, now he's following me. Get in the car. Is he in the car? Hey! <laughs> no, he's not gonna. We all, yeah, I forgot that the enemy's basically using like armored technicals right now. We're at 97. I think last time, right off the race's start, we had significantly less health, but this is this is the advantage of having really strong armor on it. Did you guys ever play the racing game Motorstorm? It's my favorite racing game of all time because you could be on a motorcycle racing against a monster truck, and the monster truck, if you wanted to, could run you over. Now, while you're on your dirt bike slash motorcycle, if you encountered another dirt bike or motorcycle, you could drive up and kick the other driver off of the vehicle. It just made it like a demolition derby type of a game in an amazing, like on some amazing off-road races. So this is interesting. Two trucks just ran into each other, but one is recovering. My health is at 94, 93. It's dropping. Oh, was that, was my gunner shooting out the back? No, I thought he might be, but it's, ooh, that guy almost hit us. And then I love how they spin out. Oh wait. I think he's about to get T-boned. Oh, I was expecting an epic explosion, but it was not to be. Oh, the, guy, the explosion came later. Look at these hodgepodge group of vehicles. That is some heavy machine gun fire. Oh, that's why. We've got an enemy helicopter in the air. But if you think that like, this should be expanded in scope, maybe get some other races, some more details to the vehicles, or you think it would be good enough to become an actual game? Well, let us know, because that would be freaking cool. I'm just not entirely sure if the world is ready for a Mad Max demolition racing roguelite game. <laughs> this is a question for Splattercat, don't you think? Incoming! Ooh, almost got us. Now, I think we're on the back stretch of this. Oh, no! If that guy would have rammed us, that would have sucked so bad. That thing is like, it's, it looks like it almost has a battering ram on the front. He's got really cool green camo. I want that as one of the paint schemes. Like, you know, being in the desert and having like forest camo because like, you're just taunting everybody. <laughs> All right, this should be the second to last gate, I think. And I can safely say that we've got this one in the bag. And what happens when you cross this finish line? Let's see. 
Because I think all the vehicles are going to explode. <laughs> you survived the lap. Oh, let's take a closer look. I want this one. Oh, wait. Matsumoto Hill Hillock. I want this one. I want this one. Oh, yeah. That should be like the boss level one. So once you complete the three final races, you could keep going if you wanted. Because right now, there's only the three vehicles and the three races. And I think we're pretty much like fully upgraded. I just need to spawn in another vehicle. But I guess that's why you shouldn't dynamite it. But, you know, we had some Ravenfield-like issues. So anyway, if you thought this was awesome and you'd like to see more of this specific mod style, let us know. And if you have some ideas that you think would be cool to put into Ravenfield modding, let us know. And I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.